Cause this is where I'm playing it on PlayStation. So I am today playing Qbert, and um, this game is uh, uh, it's a classic. I'm not sure when it came out exactly, but I'm on. Uh, well, actually, now that I'm on um, GameSpot, I can see that it came out in uh, July the 7th, 2014. This remake or reboot of the classic Cuber. But on here, it seemed like I got both of them, which is, I didn't, I didn't know this was what it was, but I see uh, Cuber Classic and Cuber and Cuber Booted. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play the Cuber Rebooted, and then I'm gonna go to the Classic, and this is gonna be a video, hopefully, and the video is gonna be 15 to 25 minutes long. I'm gonna have to play for 50, uh, 15 to 25 minutes long, or at least make this video stretch to that. Um, so I'm, I'm trying this this game out now, and I'm gonna see what it's like. I really don't know. I didn't. I think I played it once before the classic, but I'm not really too familiar with it. I think I pressed X when he was over to that side. So it seemed like it's a little bit like Candy Crush from this point. So I guess this is a new style, I'm not sure what the old one looked like, you know, so I'm gonna go on and play it, see what it's all about. So you just say complete the level, that's all it says. So, um, the tutorial, so use left stick or directional button, uh, plus X button to jump, so it's just directional button, or actually you can use left stick, I meant that technology, just doing this, so let's see. level for but I get play this pretty much uh, uh, until like I said the, the 10, 10 15 minutes there so is it don't get hit by the red ball Gems to unlock new character. Interesting. you collect these gems like they were saying to you and you and you purchase characters with them so that, that's actually not bad for that part that is actually pretty fun this actually should be like a cell phone game to really be honest so the mission was to score at least 1800 points so I'm not sure if that's because I died so I thought about playing it over again but I, I think I'll just go on Jump on the disc to eliminate Quilly.
looking at that over here on top left, I don't even know if that if that's something up. I think that's just the colors. characters but I want to see how much that is um now that that I finish this so let's see okay okay I see the, the movement within that so we're gonna go back to reboot but I'm trying to figure out where the characters comes in from Okay, so you press option and it costs 150, 75, 250, 300. So they, they got a good amount and you got different ones and I'm not sure now if they got abilities, but I don't think they do. Let me see. They don't say after wrapping up 4,000 uh, years in an underground, t uh, t uh, t I guess, tomb, he's ready to stretch his legs out. So that's cool. All right, this is cool. So basically, you can earn characters, but it takes a minute. I'm not sure if you can replay levels and do it, which would be also cool, because I think everything will be cool if it do that. And if you get higher, like in the levels, and it can go even more, that'll even be better. But I'm not sure. It looks pretty cool, though. From this perspective, it looks nice. I'm not sure if it's limited or not. I feel like if it's a mobile game, it'd be like Candy Crush or whatever. It keep going. Uh, especially if it's if it's famous or whatever. It keeps going. But I don't know what this is like. So now, I'm going to go out and I'm going to actually see um, what, what the classic is all about. So this is a classic one. Oh wow, you can still fall off. So the classic this so this is the one my mom know more than anything. Uh, and uh, knows more than me so um, so far from the classic view I like to reboot it one more better now maybe it was in the classic one maybe they had some stuff there playing it a little bit and annoying that I got like siblings that does like classic games more than me um or that can play it better than me because they put more time in it for me how to find these games like ah oh, you know I don't like playing rebooted games much but uh, I mean I rebooted but playing games classic and arcade-ish like this but i don't mind playing them though but i you know i just find myself you know liking the adventure of the game and rpg and all you know element of the game and stuff and um so this one like this is a really old game you know from this part but i think it's like i'm not sure if it's a tory game or what so i'm not you know sure which one it came on let's see if um if i can uh actually Just see if I can uh, uh, find the year that this first one ever came out. So it sounds like it came out in 1982 from uh, one of these like 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 uh, YouTube videos, but I'm not sure. But so far, I'm seeing that. Um, so um, you know, from from um, you know, 
what I know, like, you know, I seen, uh, you know, I heard from my mom, she was talking about Qbert, and I think, I thought I paid for it on a PS3, but I don't remember, but I'm, no, I, I don't think I pay, uh, bought it, but um, I was, and I bought, like, a Centipede on a PS3, um, kind of a little bit, like, I still want these games to come to PS4 better, because then, if, if, if they do, I can pay for them on here, but I don't want to have to pay, get the new system and have to pay for them again, so I feel like they need to make their systems more uh, uh, backwards compatible and allow the stores or your purchases to move over to the next console and i feel like if they was to do that on a new console and kind of make it where you, you you can buy the you know whichever you whichever you bought from the ps3 and ps4 you can play on it that'd be perfect i mean it wouldn't be perfect for the marketing part due to the point that you know uh, if you got those games you kind of ain't gonna buy any new games as much but for any gamers you are um unless you're actually uh, trying to get good in one game or you playing games that you, you know that you know for records or for you know competition or whatever sometimes you do play those games as much but but if you if, if you're a gamer you know like me or anyone you, you're gonna buy those any new game it doesn't stop you from buying but what it does is it allow you to go back to those games and if we could stream those games that would be perfect so other than that um i'm going back to um reboot it this one seem to me more funner and more better directional compared to that one. And uh, I'm going to play up 15, uh, you know, minutes before I get off and then go from there. Seems like something I would do on um on the um uh, first well that's not my first guess but that's one of them. gems like that as you go to the bonus you know get the bonus so far i've been getting only two stars each one so i'm not sure if it's if it's because it's a replayability but it's an 1800 points there let's see what the ne next one say this one say 2260 points so that means it changes up a bit and then this one says 2168 points so the first one was probably like the lowest but i think they get i don't know how you get it if uh if I'm beating the level pretty fast and I'm getting the things, I don't know how you get it. So so if you get in the circles, you know, it's kinda weird. But um I'm I'm getting, I'm now towards a 15 minute uh I could play I'm going to play another one. Um because I'm getting a little gameplay time and, and, and a video stretch. Oh. 
seemed like he gave me points there and then, uh, then on lap. I didn't get that. So I think the, 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 the objective is it probably lasts a little longer, you know, to get that apart. If not, then you got to be perfect. which I needed on the first one, but I didn't get that. Got a little more um, gems on that one, just not the, the ones that gave more. So I got one on there, guys. So other than that, this game looks pretty fun and pretty... I'm not sure if it's going to be ongoing as if you was playing Candy Crush because I've seen people on super high levels, so I guess it was making more levels and more levels on it, but so far it seems okay. Let's see if I can get my first character, so I think my first character will be like 75 if I want to get a character to, to on that level. It seems like female characters are the only cheapest characters. That's kind of weird. But anyway, um, but uh, it seems pretty cool, like, like I said. Playing it, of course, you can get all the characters for sure. Just have to play, play, play. I am not sure if you can play the first level again and get it. So what I was gonna do is, what I'm thinking about doing right now is replaying this part and seeing if I can get the gems. Like, a, if you can keep getting the gems on the same level, I don't think it's, it, it matters about the stars because that's all about this. Unless they're like, if you go here, I think you need like eight stars to unlock that one. So you gotta get the stars there. So I know that's requirement, but I don't think that's for the characters on anything else and let's go back to this one let's try to get to 2200 and see what happens So this next level, now I gotta do more. I got it still but I didn't get it but that's another thing I didn't get it and I didn't get the extra level so I think but I think the okay part about it is that you can go back to it and you can still earn crystals so it's not really a bad thing uh, uh, going back but it just didn't give me that bonus level so if that gave me that bonus level then I could have made like an extra probably t uh, you know nine or like I did on the other one or even more you know or lesser but I could have still made up to like a good amount of bonus so they didn't give me that bonus so I'm not sure um if it would at some point but you know it's good it's a good way of trying it out but so far good game Qbert 
reboot it, it's better to me than the old classic. But the, uh, I'm not gonna dis. I'm not gonna say the old classic wasn't wasn't good because those that loved the game or those that played them before it it, it was good to deal. But it is also good to know that uh, how the old game was. So other than that, that's it for Qbert. Um, I even recommend this. Uh, it, it, it will remind you of like if you play uh, Candy Crush in there like crazy levels i'm not sure if it's gonna get higher if it go 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 unlimited but it sound it looks pretty cool to me uh um but it does seem limited maybe um you could earn the characters that's not bad i got enough to earn a character right you use a, you know buy a character right now but i'm not looking to buy any of these uh if i'm gonna do it i'm gonna buy the well, probably the most expensive one or one that i like um so other than that maybe my next video i'll probably would um take more time on something like I, i'll play i'll probably put reboot it uh mode reboot it or i'll put mode classic or i also will put probably uh, uh um the character that i'm going after but to do that of course i'm gonna look at it first before i if i uh, create those video uh those broadcasts or whatever and that'd be just me playing then once i'm done i'm off or whatever or i can still play and do more but other than that this looks pretty cool from you know, from the perspective of, of what it has shown already, uh, uh, when it comes to the, the stars or whatever, that kind of remind me of Candy Crush or whatever. Though the good thing about better on here is that no energy, no no consuming like that, so you can just play, play, play. So in that case, you can play to perfect yourself and keep going. So that's a that's always a good thing because a free to play game also or a free game, not free to play game, a free game on a PlayStation Plus, you get this full game classic as well uh, that you can play. So I'll say. Enjoy to the best of your ability and keep going from there. Now I'm off. I'm going to Mad Max now. That game is gonna probably take me between 25 and 45 minutes to get through the tutorial for sure. Uh, if not, I'm gonna play a bit, you know, to get through something, uh, and then and then I'm gonna stop it. But right now, I'm trying to keep my videos limited, so I limited so I can get to the next game, uh, at least to the point of getting these games out of the way, and then go to the next game. If not, I might end up going back to some of these games, but that's later in the future. Um, I don't, so far from what I'm doing right now, playing from the first um, 99 Vitas to um, up to Kubrick. Now, the game in the middle was uh, let me see, um, I can't remember right now, but anyway, uh, I'm gonna I get on that for But the game so far that I played for the day is the games I'm it's new, they're all first time play. I'm putting that on on the on the um, on, on my video on consider my uh video tag or, or on youtube but other than that um the next time you see me play them i'm, I'm gonna try to put at least objective uh, um or at least what i'm doing um on a video of what i'm trying to cover so that you know i keep you unfolded for that point but other than that just stay tuned um i'm trying to do the best i can uh i am thinking of vlogging now uh but I, i'm also thinking about live vlogging so this is what i'm probably gonna do so um so stay tuned even for that if i like vlog it's gonna be on my computer Computer, and I'm a vlog. I'm gonna I'm do it from there. But the, my videos is not gonna be as good um, until I really get a good camera and do it from there. But if I do that, I can also um, vlog from my camera. So other than that, here come Mad Max, and I'll see you on the next broadcast.